Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So basically today, this is gonna be a quick tutorial on how you convert your pattern region that you may have created when you were using the drum machine designer, for instance, which is what I've been using. I'm gonna show you how you change that pattern region and convert it into a MIDI region and export stems and um, for the life of me this has taken a little while to work out how to do i don't know why but because i'm old school i'm used to putting in each midi track so like my kick my snare my hi-hat all on separate tracks so it's already there so when i stem the project it doesn't take me too long when you use the step sequencer you have it all in one region yeah it can be a bit annoying if you're not sure how to do this so basically that's what i'm going to show you how to do let me just hit you up on my KRK. So what you want to do, so here's a drum kit that I've created in the past and uh, let me just play the kit. So we've got a simple drum pattern here. Now this is, if I double click on here so you can see the step sequencer, this is what the step sequencer looks like and this is the pattern region within that you can see on this window here. So, so what I'm going to do quickly is just right click on this region here um, and let's go to MIDI, no, let's go to convert and you want to convert that to a MIDI region. So now you can see that we've got it here as a MIDI region, let's just dismantle this so you can just see the notes I've used. Um, so here you can see I've used three kits and that is now in the MIDI in a MIDI file But what I want to do is export this all as its own MIDI track So when I'm exporting this to stems if I want to send to somebody else to then mix or whatever I'm going to show you how you do that So now that we have that like that um, And if I show you the drop down menu here, there's nothing there, but the track still plays Okay, so now here's where the magic happens you want to right click on the same region, you want to scroll down to MIDI and you want to click on um, separate by note pitch. So you click on that and when you click on this arrow here after the drop down menu, you can see it's, sh it's showing you the three kits that I've used within that drum kit within the drum machine designer and then I can dismantle it like that and go back but you can't see it like that so what I would do is before you do that save obviously the rest of the projects I've got the pattern there but what you want to do is maybe drag the step sequencer or copy it somewhere else so you don't lose it because you are converting it to MIDI so you'll lose the step sequencer pattern so beforehand just save that if you've done the steps already just go back and save it first um, so that is that. So now um, I want to show you guys. So if I decide that I want to send this to stems, so I want to export just these three um, tracks to stems. Let me export it with the rest of the track actually. In fact, let's do it again to this region. So um, convert to MIDI region and uh, go down here. Separate by note pitch and it's done the same thing here. Let's um, unsolo that so you can hear the rest of the track. That's what my track sounds like. So now I'm gonna go down to export and I am going to export um, all tracks as audio files and we're gonna save that into a separate folder. Um, so let's call this stems. We've got a new folder here. Export cycle range only, which is just within the loop. So I'm going to click export. And what I'm going to do now is open it up in a new project. So let's go to file new, close. I'm not going to save this because I don't need to. Uh, let's click audio and I am going to, uh, let's go to stems and drag in those stems here. Um, create new tracks, please. Um, it hasn't imported the tempo. So I can see here that it's actually exported the all of the drum kit as well as the individual tracks, which is pretty handy, I guess, if, as a reference. So you can hear here. Uh, I don't know why it's not in time, I can't be able to put it in time. But it's also exported it separately. Here, 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 here. 
And that's it. That's it. That's how you do it. There we go. So that's a simple video, um, really simple video on how you export. Um, what am I talking about? A simple video for how you change your pattern region from your step sequencer into separate MIDI tracks to make stems. I hope you like this video, like and subscribe videos every single Sunday, sometimes like an occasional little video here and there. Every so often I might pull a little bit of extra. Um, but yeah, I hope you like this video, like and subscribe, and subscribe, and see you next time.